Howdy folks, this is Big Sam. Have you ever seen rust like this on your firearm before? This is actually a lot more common than you would believe. I see this all the time. It's very common in places that are quite humid. And this can happen easily if you just don't store your firearm properly. Now, if this happens to your firearm, the next question is, well, how do I fix this? How do I remove this? Well, you see, as your firearm rusts, all these little pits will form. That's the actual metal turning into rust, iron oxide. So the pits, there's not a lot we can do, but there's still rust on here. And what we want to do is remove the rust to prevent further pitting and to help preserve the firearm. Now, you might be tempted to take a steel wool or some sort of steel brush, a wire brush maybe, to your firearm in order to clean the rust. While that will clean the rust, please don't. Here's why. Here to show you is an example. I have a Mosin Nagant PU Sniper. And as you can see right here, there was quite a lot of rust for whatever reason right at this one area. And someone decided to clean this with a really hard brush, probably steel. And it definitely got rid of the rust, but as you can see, it also got rid of all the finish in this area. So how do we get rid of our rust, but preserve the finish? Is that even possible? Well, I'm here to tell you today that it's absolutely possible, and I'm gonna show you how. You see, what we need is something that's hard enough, a substance that's hard enough to remove the rust, but soft enough so that it won't scratch the gun or remove the finish. And the answer to that is brass. This is a brass brush that I bought on Amazon.com, and I'll have a link to something just like this that you can purchase. This is very affordable, and what we can do with this is actually uh, remove the rust on any part of your firearm and help preserve the finish. This will not scratch the finish. So watch this. We have all this orange rust here. And what I'm going to do is I can take this and just start rubbing on it like this. Just like this. Now, you don't have to brush really hard. It just sort of depends on how tight the rust is on there. Um, sometimes it can be really hard, really stuck on there. And what's great about this brush is it has two sides. It has a fine side and has a really coarse side. This is really, this is much harder. This side still won't scratch your firearm, but it can be a little bit more effective at removing really stubborn rust spots. So I'm going to keep, I'm going to use this guy here. And we can see the rust is just sort of falling off, which is exactly what we want to see here. Now you can see it kind of turns everything it, right now. It sort of looks really shiny, almost kind of bronzish or brashish, brash-ish. The whole barrel does here, but um, that's actually going to go away here. I'm just going to give it a couple more strokes. All right, so now we're going to clean this up a little bit. What I'm going to do is get an uh, extra large size cleaning patch like this. And then I'm going to get some, some sort of lubricant. In this case, I'm gonna be using CLP. And I'm just gonna spray some on here. Spray a little bit on here, like that. And then I'm just gonna wipe this on here. And we can see this is turning a really horrible color. And that's good. That's what we want to see. We want to see all this junk coming off of our barrel. 
So now that's all lubricated. I'm gonna go get another another patch here. And what we're gonna do, I might actually get a couple patches, is just take these and just wipe it. Wipe it clean. Just try to get everything off. The oil, rust, any remnants of anything else on here. Just get it off. This one I usually put a lot of pressure on because I really need to just get everything off of there. We can see, oof, yeah, not good. Also, you kind of have to press hard to get all into the little pores that have been created from the rust to make sure you just get everything cleaned out. All right, guys, so there you have it. Now, yeah, we still have some, you know, some rather unattractive pores in the metal, but this really isn't that bad. And what's great is we've done two things. One, we've removed all the rust, thus preserving the life of this rifle and ensuring that it can be enjoyed by future generations. Uh, and the other thing is we haven't removed any of the finish. So we can see there's light. Uh, the light kind of looks a little light, like there's no finish, but if I turn it, you can see, yeah, it's all still there. Um, and now if I took a wire brush to this, all of this would just be like, uh, well, uh, really, really light, really, really shiny, absolutely no finish. But it actually looks something like this. This is an Ethiopian Bird and 2 rifle, and as we can see, there's absolutely no finish on it. This is what it would look like if we were to take a wire brush to a rifle like this. So this is how you want to clean things. Now, what's also great about brass is you can use this for cleaning other things from your rifle besides rust. Let's say there's a lot of caked on gunk, maybe, you know, 100-year-old grease that's just solidified into a horrible putrid atrocity that you can't remove with like a cleaning patch or something. This will work wonders for removing that. And again, this will not scratch the finish on your fire art. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you'll check this out because brass has worked wonders for me. I have cleaned uh, numerous rifles using this and it has always worked extremely well. I couldn't be more satisfied with these brass brushes. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Stay tuned if you're interested in more Mosin Nagant tips and tricks. Let me know if y'all have any prayer requests, and I'll see you next time.